Hello dear students today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is flow chart so before we move on to flow chart i want you all to understand the algorithm first that is very important for understanding flow chart so if you are not seeing my previous video that is based on the algorithm please follow the link given in the description box so let me start the topic of today that is flow chart flow chart the definition of a flow chart you can see that a flow chart is a pictorial representation of algorithm when i say pictorial representation i mean to say that it, through a diagram through pictures we try to represent the flow chart so that's why flow chart is a pictorial representation now this program indicates the actually the flow of the program or you can say the instructions how these programs are being instructed through the diagrams we try to show the flow of the program as you can see the picture at my back i will explain you how to create that flow chart but this flow chart will show you the how the actually the program flows or the instructions are being you know different instructions they are being you know followed that is the flow chart is showing next important thing if you see at my back here the flow chart you will notice that there this is the geometrical drawings actually the geometrical shapes are here i have used here i use here square you can see here circle parallelogram so this kind of geometrical uh, shapes are used to indicate the particular arrow you know or sorry particular things in the flow chart so that is a flow chart now what each and every shape or you can say the components of flow chart let me discuss the different components of flow chart so the first component that you can see here this is going to represent the start and end of the program means this geometrical shape is going to you know show you the starting of the program and ending of the program means if you want to show where from where the program starts by this shape by drawing this shape you can show this start and even the where the program ends this can be represented through this shape the next shape this thing that is a parallelogram yes this is representing you the input and output of the program means when you are giving some values in the program at that time you can draw this parallelogram and show it that this particular thing has been input the values have been input in this and not only that even when you get at the last the printing that can be done through the, the shape only this shape can be drawn and in that printing command can be given the next one that is the rectangle shape this rectangle shape is basically representing you the processing box this processing box will show you the processing is taking place in this rectangle basically that is the mathematical instructions have been calculated in this rectangle so this rectangle is representing the processing box the next this shape that is the this diagonal this you can say the diamond shape is representing you the decision making the decision making where we have to make decisions it means that whether a thing if i want to compare two numbers i can say whether one number is greater than the second one yes or no means this decision box is telling you whether the condition will be true or false so this is a decision box in of one of our program we will be using it so that it will be clear to you how this decision box works okay the next comes the flow lines very very important in flow chart because this will tell you the flow of the program here where exactly this pro flow you know steps to be followed which step has to be step has to be followed after which you know where next steps has to be moved so through the arrows you will understand this last but not the least that is the connector again a very important role the connector is playing that is connecting may you may be doing a program on a page and you find that okay the page is finished here and still the flow chart is left to show you the continuity of the that flow chart you can use this connector this connector is helpful for doing so connecting you by showing that that flow chart is continue so that was all about the components of the flow chart i hope it's clear to you in my next youtube i will be discussing with you the programs where i will be drawing this flow charts okay i'll teach you how to draw it and 
make your things simple. I hope what I have taught today is clear to you. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and share it. Thank you.